Welcome everyone. You must have heard about this phrase. The more you try, the less you achieve. That is the law of reverse efforts. So the law of reverse effort that is also known as the backward law. This is very fascinating concept that explain why sometimes the harder we try to achieve something, the more elusive success becomes. It is the phenomenon that many of us have experienced. So let's try to understand this in neuroscience perspective. At the heart of this concept is the prefrontal cortex, our brain's command center. This region is responsible for executive function like decision making, problem solving and attention control. When we try too hard, we tend to overload this area. Imagine trying to the manage multiple complex tasks at once. That is what happen in your prefrontal cortex when you are overthinking. This overload can lead to a state of analysis paralysis where we become so slow down in the details that we struggle to make decision or take action effectively. A stress also plays a significant role in this phenomenon. When we exert intense effort, especially under pressure, our body enter a state of intensified aerosol. This triggers the fight or flight response, releasing a stress hormone like cortisol and adrenaline into our, our bloodstream. In the small doses, these hormones can be beneficial sharpness our focus and provide a burst of energy however when it when this stress response is prolonged or too intense it can be backfire so higher level of cortisol can impair cognitive function like memory and decision making while the excess adrenaline can make us stress out and less coordinated this explains why people often choked on the prey. The same hormones mean to help us perform better end up with, end up with the sabotaging us when present in excess amount. Another crucial aspect of consider is how trying too hard can disrupt our implicit learning and muscles memory. Many skills we perform well are stored in our hidden memory allowing us to execute them without conscious thought. Think about how you can type a keyboard or ride a bike without actively thinking about each moment. However, when we try too hard, we can interfere with this autonomicity. By focusing too much on the mechanistic of a task, we disturb the smooth execution of the well-learned behaviors and this is why experienced musicians and athletes might perform worse when they are start overthinking their moments. Their conscious mind take in the away of their muscles memory. The shift in attention focus is another important factor. When we are excessive focus on our performance, we tend to adopt an internal focus, becoming preoccupied with our thoughts, feelings and moments. While this is internal focus can be useful when learning new skill, it can be detrimental when performing tasks that require fluid, autonomic execution. An external focus directing our attention to the outcome or environment often lead to better performance by allowing our autonomic process to take over. So performance anxiety is a common issue that lies into the law of reverse effort. When we try too hard, we often create a sense of pressure and anxiety. And this activates the amygdala, our brain fear center, which can interfere with our functioning of the prefrontal cortex. The result, difficulty concentrating, impaired decision making and decreased motor control. It's a vicious cycle. The fear of failure and the pressure to perform well create a feedback loop that makes success even harder to achieve. The concept of paradoxical intention also comes into play here. This idea originating from psychotherapy, suggesting that trying to avoid a particular thought or feeling can actually make it more likely to occur. For example, someone with insomnia try very hard to fall asleep 
might find that the effort created anxiety making sleep even more difficult and this applies to various situation when we try too hard avoid the mistake we become hyper aware of the possibility of the failure increasing anxiety and making mistake more likely the next factor is the default mode network that is dmn so this is another piece of the puzzle this network of brain region become active when we are at the rest or not focus on the outside world it associated with mind wandering day dreaming and creative thinking when we relax and let our mind wander the dmn can help us come up with the creative solution and insight however when we are intensely focused and trying too hard we can suppress the activity of the default mode network hindering our ability to think creativity and come up with a novel solution to problem understanding this neurological mechanism can help us find a more effective balance between effort and relaxation so mindfulness practice can be incredibly beneficial helping to reduce the overthinking and anxiety by keeping us present and focus on the task at hand this can prevent the prefrontal cortex from becoming overloaded so focusing on the process rather than the outcome can also be helpful by enjoying the journey and not fixating on the end product we can perform more naturally and effectively so this approach reduces performance pressure and allow us to engage more fully with the task at hand so trusting our muscles memory and autonomic process is crucial especially for well learned skill once we have a master at a skill it's often best to let it flow without conscious interference this allow our implicit memory to guide our action smoothly and efficiently visualization and mental rehearsal techniques can be profound tools they help prepare the brain for performance without the pressure of actual execution activating the neural pathway associated with task and potentially improving performance when it count so balancing period of the intense focus with relaxing and recovery is essential taking break practice deep breathing and engaging in the activities that promote relaxation can help reset the brain and improve overall performance this balance allow us to maintain high level of performance without burning out so the law of reverse effort has real world application in various habits so now let's talk about the law of reverse effort in the application of real life world the law of reverse effort has real world application in various field in a sports athletes often perform best when they are in a zone or experiencing flow a state characterized by effortless concentration and peak performance when athletes are too hard they can disturb this flow state and perform worse that's why coaches often emphasize the importance of relaxation visualization and trusting one's training in education a student who experiences test anxiety may perform worse on the exam despite their hard work and preparation so techniques such as mindfulness relaxation exercise and focusing on the learning process rather than grades can help reduce anxiety and improve the performance and creating a supportive and low pressure environment can also help a student to thrive in the workplace employees under constant pressure to perform may experience burnout and decrease productivity so encouraging a healthy work life balance providing opportunity for relaxation and recovery and promoting a positive work environment can help employee perform better companies that prioritize the employee well-being often see higher level of engagement and productivity so the law of reverse effort highlight the counter counter institute nature of the human performance 
by understanding the neuroscience behind this phenomenon we can learn more balance effort and and relaxation to achieve better outcomes whether in a sport education or the workplace finding this balance can lead to improved performance reduce anxiety and better sense of well-being so the next time you find yourself try too hard and feeling like you are getting nowhere remember this concept take a step back breathe and allow yourself to relax trust in your ability and knowledge you have accumulated sometimes letting go of the intense desire to succeed is exactly what you need to achieve your goals your brain and your performance will thank you for this so thank you for the watching and see you in the next video